In the east, Daenerys Targaryen continued her crusade against Asosi slavery. The slaves of mighty Volantis had been liberated, but the Queen's war against Myr had ended in a stalemate. Undeterred, the Dragon Queen moved into Lys and Tyrosh. Renly was advised by his small council to start filling his war chest. After all, on a clear day, a man could see Tyrosh from the shores of the Stormlands. Not only that, but the Targaryen pretender had married Tytos Lannister, a noble from House Lannister, the former Lords of the Westerlands, who had not only extensive knowledge of Westerosi custom and nobility to aid Daenerys, but also held a personal grudge against King Renly. Man's Raider, King Beyond the Wall for nearly 20 years, once again attacked the Night's Watch in 317 AC. There was a measure of overconfidence and complacency among the brothers. Man's Raider had attacked the Wall on numerous occasions since the War of the Five Kings, and had always been defeated fairly easily. It came as a shock then, when Lord Commander Jon Snow was captured, and the castles of the Night's Watch overrun by thousands of wildlings. For the first time in hundreds, perhaps thousands of years, the Night's Watch had failed to protect the realms of men, and the north lay open to wildling raiding parties. Lord Paramount Benjamin II Karstark soon assembled an army to deal with the wildling threat. While his Lord Paramount was fighting the wildlings, King Renly left the realm in a regency, while he went off to Old Valyria on a reckless treasure hunt. Maesters have debated why Renly would do this. Some say he always wanted to, but waited until his succession was secured. Others say he wished to put the supposed Baratheon dragon blood to the test by finding and hatching a dragon egg, or even taming a dragon. Still others say he wished to escape his depressed, wrathful, mad wife, or that he wished to prove something to himself in his middle age. Whatever the case, in mid-318 AC, Renly took off from King's Landing, leaving his hand, Sir Olimar, in charge. When he came back a year later, having had many adventures and stories to tell, as well as a suit of the finest Valyrian armor, he found a realm at war. The unthinkable had happened. Having given up her rule of marine, Daenerys Targaryen, the Mad King's daughter, and the Baratheon's most powerful enemy, had declared war on the Iron Throne. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming. Welcome back to your boy, King Renly the Beautiful. And welcome back to a realm at war, yes. This episode, uh, Daenerys Targaryen finally declared war on us to regain her uh, supposed birthright. It only took her about 20 years, <laughs> but she's here now. Uh, she has uh, her husband, Tytos Lannister, at her side. She has her dragons at her side. She, her army is not, uh, not that big, but we shouldn't uh, underestimate her anyway, because she does have dragons. Um, most of the Iron Throne vessels have joined us. Uh, Lord Paramount, Robert of the Stormlands, Robin of the Trident, uh, Robert of the Vale. We have three Roberts, three, three, three vessels starting with Rob. Edric Storm has joined us. Uh, uh, the Lord Paramount or King of Dorne has not joined us yet, but I think he's fighting his own war. And surprisingly, um, Eustace Tyrell has not joined us, but most of his vessels have, so <laughs> we uh, won't miss him too much, uh, hopefully. And in the north, uh, probably. Yeah, uh, it seems like Benjin also hasn't joined. Oh, although although um, he did win uh, the war against Castle Black, I see now. <laughs> that must have happened off screen. I guess about three months ago he won the war back ag ag again uh, against uh, Mans, uh, Mans Raider. It makes some sense because Mans, uh, you know, it was kind of a sort of a fluke uh, that he won. He, he captured John. Uh, otherwise, he would probably have been uh, defeated if he had not been able to do that. But let's focus on the war at hand. Uh, King Renly uh, just got back from his mighty adventure in uh, in Old Volantis, and now we are here, ready to fight our war. Let's see who who will we put in charge of our armies. I think none of these guys, right? Should we, um, Loras maybe? Loras has been our, our leal and able commander. He's an aggressive leader, though. What about Sir Olimar? Unyielding but with the Rainmaster, Holy Warrior. I guess we could put uh, Sir Olimar in charge uh, just this once. He is already a commander. I guess he cannot join us because he is uh, head of the king. Okay, well, maybe not. Let's um, let's look for some nice uh, nice commanders, actually, because I don't... I want to put the best, best possible commanders in charge for this. 
Uh, yeah, Swallower is one of the best, of course. We have Mark, Cox, Sworn Shield. Aubrey, Commander of the Self Sword Infantry, Defender and Yielding Organizer. Yeah, we're not going to defend much, I think. Garland Tyrell. Ah, okay. Yes, that's, uh, that's a good choice. Garland, why don't you join me? We will make you uh, our commander. Rolly Duckfield, also a pretty good choice, since his, uh, his nephew doesn't want to join the, uh, the war. Uh, at least this way we'll have the Tyrells help us out a bit. Help us out a bit. The walls under assault again. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't have time for that right now. Didn't he just defeat Mans? Come on, man. <laughs> oh well. Or is this a different guy? No, it's still Mans. Hmm, I guess he doesn't suffer from truces. Hello, Garland. We will appoint you commander. All right. Uh, Garland. Yes, you can be in charge. Uh, we could, I guess, replace Loris for now. Not with Garland. With Bauman, maybe. Bauman, Birchclaw, the Frosby is no longer a commander, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Gilbert Faring. Um, yeah, I, I, I want, I want Loris by my side in this war. So we're gonna, we're gonna have him uh, come back. Is he still a commander? Uh, he is now. <laughs> Garland and his brother Loris. And me, myself. Yeah, why not, right? I'm a terrible commander, but let's, uh, let's put war focus on. There we go. This is important, guys. All right, here we go. Actually, I'm, I'm, am I going to join myself? She does have dragons. Pretty big chance of us dying. Ah, screw it. We're going to do it, right? We have to protect the realm. I should pick an ambition, become a better commander or something. Is that there? Forge bloodline, amass wealth, expand around my conquest. Um, we could do the bloodline, but we already have a bloodline, right? Yeah, it's not great, but I think uh, we're going to go for Expand Realm by Conquest. It's not uh, not necessary right now, but uh, once hopefully we will, we will defeat Daenerys. And if so, we can uh, we can continue our, uh, our conquest uh, to East. In command, yes. 30k. Where's Mr. Uh, Mister? Mrs. Daenerys? Where is she? Selchar. Okay, she's still all the way over there. She's not uh, anywhere near our lands yet. Doran, why are you joining us, my man? Excellent news, bit of money. Good job, Polymer. Population of Planky Town has converted. <laughs> I don't really care. I thought I was born to Sir Olimar and Alara in this crazy time. Very nice. Good, uh, good going, Olimar. We really have to raise you to nobility at some point. But not today. 48k. Bring it on, Daenerys. Bring it on. Uh, okay, Lord Robert II doesn't want to join me. Okay, whatever, I don't care. How much... Uh, okay, 115k can be supported in King's Landing. So let's just pile everything on here. Alright, Daenerys, where are you? Daenerys, we are waiting for you. We have 80k troops. Let's, uh, let's assemble the fleet as well, right? Okay, no, I guess our fleet is tiny. I hope she's not attacking... She's not going to attack Dorne. Here she is. Great grassy fleet. <laughs> I do hope she um, oh, she's already at eleven percent. I guess that's taking war score. Oh no! <laughs> Army of Sir Bonifer. Bonifer Hasty is attacking, <laughs> attacking Daenerys' uh, his capital. Great, great job, guys. Good going. Uh, where are you, Daenerys? Are you anywhere near? No, you're still at court here. I hope Bonifer will be able to capture you. That would be great. 85k. This is the largest army the world has ever seen. It's going to be assembled. Now, oh, this uh, woman has been captured by uh, Doran Martel. Alright, I hope that wins him the war then. Yeah, it looks, lo looks like it. And he might be able to join us. Mr. Doran Martel. I do hope you, uh, you will join us. Mm, I guess not. What is this army doing? There's a bunch of boats here, but they're not doing anything. Are they coming up here? Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> uh, every time I set something up epically in my recap, <laughs> it just ends super anticlimactically. <laughs> and so it has happened this time as well. All right, my enemy Khaleesi, uh, Daenerys Targaryen has been captured by Lord Reynald Westerling of the Crack and taken to the Crack as a prisoner. Where is that? 
He's up here. Daenerys, they kept the Daenerys in no man's land. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. It's fine, I guess. I can spin it. <laughs> I can spin it. Uh, so that was a very easy war. Very anticlimactic. We uh, we kept Daenerys, uh, Daenerys Targaryen, uh, a, uh, a loyal vessel of ours who we we're going to make a special interest character. We really have to reward this guy because he ended the war all by himself in... Uh, with the Stormlander army up here. Yeah, it's mostly Stormlanders. And then this Lord Reynald II of the Westerns who holds 11k troops. Wow. Lord Loras is also here. Oh, no, no. Uh, he, had to, he has the order to attach to Lord Loras' army, which is in King's Landing. So this man, Reynald II of the Crag, is our great hero. Uh, we might even... If Edric uh, at, at one point decides to revolt, we will give him the, uh, the Westerlands. But... For now, we uh, we will just give him a nice a nice gift or something. Let's uh, let's think about that. That'd be an artifact. We could give him the Westerland crown, crown of the rock. Yeah, we'll think about it. Okay, the nearest Targaryen. You're in my prison. So we are definitely we can we are already able to end the war. All he lands held in the name of Khaleesi Daenerys, which are legally part of King Renly's realm are returned. Okay, that's nothing. 0 0.01 prestige for more contribution. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Is she now in my dungeon? Can we... Uh, can we ask this guy to hand over this, his prisoners? Maybe not. And I guess we also already won against men, so right. Yep. <laughs> okay. We are already at peace again. <laughs> Everybody lower your troops. And the wars between the great powers have been subsided. Yep. I will reappoint the old council. But Daenerys is now just in prison with some, uh, one of my vessels. Where is she? Yeah. Imprisoned. I kind of want to... Can we kidnap her? Oh. Mm. Rescue from prison. Or kill. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna kill her, right? <laughs> I guess my vessel doesn't want to hand her, uh, hand her over. Oh, let's dispose of some more wildfire, actually. Yep. We haven't done that in a while. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. We, uh, let's think. Oh, we had um, our, our new friend. We will appoint him to the King's Guard. So Feshbinder, yeah. Yeah, I will appoint the King's Guard. Okay, we just needed to uh Yep, okay, great. Welcome Feshbinder to the King's Guard. Call the Grand Invasion Council. Yeah, let's wait let's wait for let, let's wait with that for a while, because there's a there's a, a faction uh, brewing, right? Independence. Okay, it's not that strong anymore. But Paramount Edric still uh, wants to uh wants to claim the Iron Throne. Let's uh, let's sway him a bit. But what, what is happening to Daenerys now? I guess she was released now, suddenly. Mm, where is she now then? Is it still worth it trying to kill her? Princess Daenerys Stormborn. She ransomed somebody. Okay, she's releasing her, so she's still alive. I'm not sure if this will work, because this is no longer she's no longer imprisoned, so something is something is bugging here. Okay, well, let's see if it works. Master Miklas has procured a venomous viper. Let's try, let's try to kill Daenerys. Come on. Uh, seeing another behind my spouse's back is becoming quite troublesome for me. Yada, yada, yada. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't care for my spouse. It will work out if I, if, if I give it just a bit more effort. It's time to end such affairs and settle down. I mean, I am 43. Although Marjorie is... <laughs> I don't really love Marjorie anymore, I don't think. It will work out if I give it a bit more effort. Mm. Nah, it's time to end such, a, such affairs. That's fine. We have plenty of... Oh, success! The snake it's performed its duty with a plum and plum... Plump and pumped, Princess Daenerys, full of its deadly venom. It slipped away into the night, and the guards are now too busy contending with a string of lethal snake attacks to search for those responsible. Okay, she's dead. She died under suspicious circumstances. What happened to her dragons? Where's Drogon? At court in no man's land, no man's land. 
Uh, relations. Okay, so I, got, I think he's probably now roaming free. Face the dragon. Yeah, he's uh, currently wild and can be approached in his lair. But he must be in King's Landing, otherwise I cannot do it. Prophet's owner is Leech of King Renly. Uh, as a character modifier, calling for dragon riders. Okay, all right. We cannot. Uh, <laughs> we released her dragons into the wild. Rhaegal is probably also somewhere. Jade Palace, Karth. <laughs> Just roaming around Karth. And then we have uh, Viserion. Where is he? Jade Palace, Karth also. Face the dragon. Okay, so her dragons are now roaming free. There's still uh, she still has a, a little a little kid, right? Two little kids even. Lord Einar of No Man's Land, Einar Targaryen. He still has a strong claim on the Seven Kingdoms. Are we gonna are we gonna assassinate him or uh, or not? Because it's a bit anticlimactic. I kind of want to. No, no, I'm I'm, I'm gonna have him uh, uh, keep him alive just for narrative purposes. I kind of want uh, <laughs> I kind of want uh, want that to be. A second Daenerys, sort of. So we still have some Targaryens left. One family member. Oh, she's a uh, Daella Fire. He's a Frey. Sandor Frey and Daenerys Stormborn. Okay, <laughs> Sandor Frey. I guess had an affair with Daenerys. So now we have Daella Fire. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Associate Valerian. Sure, why not? Let's keep her. Uh, let's keep her as well. Your grace, for too long Eustace Tyrell has occupied my rightful seat and I will stop at nothing to take it from him. I only ask that you provide me with coins so that I may hire an army to achieve this, says my wife. <laughs> she wants to press the claim to the reach. That's fine. Here's some money, Marjorie. <laughs> you crazy, uh, crazy SOB. <laughs> Is she going to try to to take the reach for herself? Oh, what's happened? Pureborn Matiso Karmath. Pureborn of Karth. He's now riding a dragon. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess the uh, the wise masters of uh, of Karth. Oh no, the wise masters of Yunkai. What what were they called in um, those 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 strange guys of the House of the Undying? Okay, Rainis Atroxiaris now rides Drogon into battle. Okay, good for her. We claim on the Lordship of No Man's Land. Okay, who are you? I have no idea who we are. Oh, Damien. Some kind of High Valyrian uh, man. Okay, I guess maybe uh, Daenerys conquered the... the, the no uh, usurped No Man's Land from uh, from this family. That, that might be true. She's riding a dragon now. Then we have, still have one dragon out in the wild. We have a, 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 a faction. Lord Paramount Edric for the Iron Throne. Joined by Lord Paramount Benjen and Lord Paramount Doran the Magnificent. My man, what are you doing? You hate me. You're ambitious. Can we send you a gift or an artifact? Or can we imprison you? No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, he does have a strong claim, I guess. Will it be inherited as a strong claim? I think I probably will be inherited as a weak claim, right? Can be inherited by successor. Well, let's see. I'm not too afraid of him. I think we should be fine. We will try to sway him a little bit. I mean, uh, he does have a pretty good claim on the Iron Throne. He is the direct son of Robert. I'm only a younger brother. Lady Marjorie of the Reach has declared Lady Marjorie's claim on the Reach. On Lord Paramount used as the Black. <laughs> well, good going, Marjorie. <laughs> good luck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if she wins. <laughs> how much? Uh, how much army? Uh, how large is her army? Twenty k. Okay, that's not nothing. Eustace, Eustace does outnumber her, though, so though. So I'm really not sure if she will be able to win, but <laughs> she's leading the army herself. Oh, let's follow that. Uh, Tourney of Rosby. Yeah, let's let's join the tourney. Why not? I think Randy is. Uh, Ah, Sir Olimar has been a Leo enabled servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of the Iron Throne. Yes. A grant of land, Lordship of Hayford, noble title. Let's give him a noble title first. Olimar Risley. Alright. The Risley family. They are definitely uh definitely our boys. Crown loyalist, so here's 4.5% of leash. Wow, everybody hates me, I guess. 
He used to have a pretty big uh, loyalist faction. This guy wants to depose me. Why do you guys hate me? Uh, hate me all so much? Oh. Renly, I name you a pretender. Lord Paramount Edric of the Westerlands is a true ruler of the Iron Throne, as recognized by myself and other nobles. Relinquish this title or there will be war! I will not be blackmailed. I will not be blackmailed. Screw you. He's being joined by a lot of people, huh? I will not be blackmailed. And the Reach cannot join me? Ouch, okay. After arriving in Rosby. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in Rosby. It's already my horse. Edric Storm is declared Lord uh, Paramount. Edric Storm is War for the Iron Throne. Okay. Alright. Lord Paramount Robin of the Trident is joining me. Uh, please, everybody, join me. Okay, we will raise the army here. Um, what else can we raise? Okay, our vessels' armies. Okay, everybody, please help me out here in uh, King's Landing. We will have our loyalists of the Trident join us here as well. Uh, I think Renly will. Garland can be a uh, Garland and Loris. Okay, they're, they're still loyal to me at least. Okay, Lord Paramount Robin, please join your armies to mine. <laughs> We're still doing the... Uh, okay, Lord Paramount Theon is joining me. Great. Good stuff. I think we hopefully will be fine. Hedrick, my man, what are you doing? We gave you that land. This is such a stupid move. Okay, whatever. I don't care about this tourney anymore. We're at war. Large bands of rebels are flocking to the banner of the faithless traitor, Lord Paramount Edric in Castle Rock. Okay. Carry on for the vultures. Wow. Lord Loris Tarwell is the winner, whatever. Uh, but, uh, I don't care. Loris Tarwell is a Robar Roy's fist. So now it's Lord, Lord Loris won. Okay, last time Robar won against Loris, but this time Loris won. Okay, whatever. We have, we have more important things to worry about. Baduin Martel is currently under my control. No, no, no. It's not his fault. Ariane, Martel, are the are Tyrells the, 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 the yeah the, oh they're fighting me. Yeah, I'm prisoner then. I didn't know they were fighting me. I thought they were neutral. My wife Marjorie is pregnant. How did she manage that? She's fighting uh, <laughs> Lord uh, Lady Lady Marjorie's claim on the Reach War. I uh, let her rot. Screw you. Uh, screw you, uh, uh, Ariane. All right, we should move to the Westerlands, I think. We lay siege to Casterly Rock. Let's do that. Let's move into the Westerlands. Hopefully we'll be able to capture uh, Edric Storm and end this war immediately. The Chief Wisdom of the King's Landing informs you, okay, here's the disposal of some wildfire. Great. Hey, here is uh, Edric Storm. Let's attack him to try to capture him. Ruler personally le le leading troops. People are trying to kill my son. Here we go, big big battle. Oh, we captured we captured him. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, Edric, you are dead. <laughs> Man, we we are getting pretty lucky. Lord Paramount Benjamin Karstark has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Um, you will forfeit the north. Yeah. Okay, well, Prince Doran Martel, I guess I, I don't feel like fighting him. <laughs> he has been pretty loyal to us. Uh, <sighs> Let him bend the knee. He will forfeit Doran. I mean, it, I've already now basically declared war on the north for Benjamin Karstark. He will forfeit Doran. Send him to the dungeon. Now let him bend the knee. We, we, okay, we have a hostage, for, right? So he will, he will behave hopefully next time. We have the, uh, the child and heir of uh, Ariane Martel. The, the heir to Dorn in, uh, in our dungeon. So I think we have some leverage on him. So we will say let him bend the knee. Edric Storm, we're definitely gonna... He will forfeit the Westerlands. Yes, definitely. Uh, Lord Paramount Robin Aaron. Mm. Send him to the dungeon. So we're gonna continue this war. Yep. 
Uh, okay, Kingdom of the North. Okay, I guess he, he accepted that one. Kingdom of the Westerlands. And uh, Lord Robin of the Vale didn't, uh, didn't submit. I find your judgment harsh while well, you attack me, my man. All right, uh, like we said, we will give the we will call this guy for for trial. Should we banish him? Does he have any kids? No. Hmm. I mean, we have to execute him, right? Can we do that? Execute him present. I'm not gonna send him to the wall. Screw him. He he, he literally he revolted against me. And we are I guess also we revoked the north. The Lord Paramount Sea of the North. Hmm. Can we give it to his wife? No, I guess not. Call Lord Benjamin Karstark for trial. Yeah, let's do that. Or can we revoke some title from him? No, let's call him for trial. Meanwhile, we will fight the uh, the veil. First big revolt against our reign, and we handled it pretty well. We were we got quite lucky, but uh, <laughs> you know. And uh, Edric Stormer did did do uh, quite stupid, uh, did make a quite a stupid move, because we already gave him uh, the the Lord Paramountcy of the Westerlands, even though he was uh, was a lowborn bastard. And uh, now, uh, yeah, now he lost it again. You remain in okay. He's the man that trial by combat. That's fine. Uh, it's completely about this dark cell. Suitable how about Dubliet? Yeah, screw you, Benjamin. I've come for justice, Roderick Cassell, 70, fine. I will select someone to stand for the king. Olimer, no, no, no. I'm not gonna, gonna risk Olimer. He'll face my king's, king's guard, yeah, Lord, uh, Lord Feshbinder. Or Garland Tyrell, I guess, our brother-in-law. Uh, brother no, they, uh, they can face uh, Sir Feshbinder. Fight well, please. Curse them all, really? Lies dead in a pool of, of his own blood, and Master Roderick stands victorious. Wow. Released from prison. Okay, well, you got very, very lucky there, my man. <laughs> Minus 74. Okay, who, who will we give the north to? Mm, the Boltons? Ramsey Bolton. No, I'm not going to give it to Ramsey Bolton. Screw Ramsey Bolton. Garbert Glover. Uh, Lord Carlin Riswell. Maybe the Mandalese. The ill ruler. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> we could give it to... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to give it to Rickon. I'll just give Rickon the duchy here, and then I will give him the north. Too bad I cannot give it to Arya, because she's a woman. That's, uh, that's a bit sad. Uh, is Rickon still alive, actually? He is. He's in seclusion. He's a terrible ruler, but, you know. <laughs> Rickon, my man, uh, are you at my court? No. Grand Landed title. Lordship of Hayford. High Lordship of Hayford. Here you go. And then we will give you the Kingdom of the North, yes. Here you go. <laughs> we'll have his, uh, his capital right next door to King's Landing. But we do have a Stark back in uh, in charge of the North. Congrats, uh, Rickon. Lord Starwell has, com uh, has uh, recommended this guy to be the new leader of the King's Guard. No. <laughs> He's terrible. Uh, who are we going to appoint Lord of the King's Guard? Let's, let's find somebody. Oh, uh, Garland, maybe? Or uh, Raleigh Duckfield? Yeah, he's great. My man? Ah, he does want to be uh, the uh, ruler, uh, the new King's Guard member. Very nice. All right. <laughs> We're at war again, so it's all very hectic. Okay, and I guess... Yeah, Robert, uh, my son is not joining me, but many of his vessels are. Oh, yeah, and the Westerlands will be given to this guy, right? He, um... He was uh, able to capture uh, Daenerys Targaryen. And I think he deserves a reward for ending that war very, very quickly. So here you go, my man. You are now the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands. Enjoy. Lady Adam will not come to King's Landing and pay, pay homage. Okay, uh, makes sense. We killed her dad, right? <laughs> I think it's a bit sad. I kind of wanted, wanted uh, Edric Storm to be like a nice, loyal dynasty to the Baratheons. But I guess... Uh, I guess he didn't want to. Did she inherit the uh, yeah weak claim on the Seven Kingdoms? So not a strong claim. So that's good. Um, I as I uh, I always imagined I I would be the first one of us to go, but now I am the only one. I'm the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Ah, that's sad. That's sad. 
He was slayed by Master Rodwick of King's Course. This is the guy who, uh, who we brought to, uh, to our adventure in Valyria. He wouldn't want me to cry, let's drink in his honor. Uh, friendship will only hurt you in the end. Yeah, let's drink in his honor. Uh, I've probably already had one drink too many when I'm joined at the table by an equally intoxicated man. It takes me a few minutes to realize, but surely it must be Sir Olimar. Oh, great. Sir Olimar is joining me. He's my friend, right? All right, Lars. Let's move north. Let's move to the Erie. Lay siege to the Erie. Because uh, Lord Paramount Robin has joined, opportunistically joined, the... Uh, the war against us, the revolt against us, and we have to punish him for it. Lord Paramount Reynald has revoked the Lordship of Castle Rock. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Great, okay, he's in charge of Castle Rock. He'll probably move his capital there over over there soon. Let's call yeah, let's call Ariane Martel for trial. Trial before the court. Yada yada yada. Uh, Sir Olimar will handle it. He made a strong case. I find Ariane Martel guilty. Should we send her to the Silent Sisters? Yeah, I don't think uh, she needs to be executed. She didn't do that much wrong. She's <laughs> this is a pretty harsh punishment for her anyway, because she's a master seductress. Marjorie Tyrell accepted uh, Lord. Okay, Marjorie. <laughs> in the meantime, Marjorie was fighting against her nephew in the Reach, and I guess she lost. She was imprisoned. So let's see what. Uh, what Lord Paramount Justice will do. Doran. Yeah, let's put Doran back in charge. Why not, eh? You'll uh, know what it's like to revolt against me. Your wife has been thrown in the oubliette by your captor, Lord Paramount Justice Tyrell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to win this war first. Maybe we'll split, cut it in two episodes. Let's see. Lord Alaric, Alaric has come to King's Landing and has requested an audience to pay me homage. Great. Send him in. I hope you came. Okay, whatever. 83%. Wow, this, this is going quite fast. Did we capture somebody? No, but uh, th that battle was uh, was massive. Let's list each to the area. Okay, we have an idle council members. This guy, Lothar, the, Lothar Frey. Olimar Risley, our buddy. We might give him the veil, actually. That would be uh, pretty great. Uh, King Willie the Beautiful and Queen Marjorie named Ashila. Okay. <laughs> She died stillborn. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, she literally died in the... Uh, she was born in the oubliette. <laughs> ah, that's sad. Marjorie, you're crazy, man. I guess she is a lunatic. So it makes sense. Okay, let's lay siege to the Eyrie. It's gonna be a while. Ransom prisoner. We offer to the... You offer you the safe release of Queen Marjorie for 10 bucks. Fine. <laughs> Welcome back, Marjorie. <laughs> you crazy bitch. <laughs> I didn't. I that wasn't. Uh, I, I didn't think they would. Uh, she would live, but uh, she did. I guess. All right, the Eyrie. It's going to be a while, I think, before we completely siege that. King Robert the Vengeful, sweet Robin. This is this is the little kid uh, that rules in the uh, the castle uh, on top of the mountain where uh, Tyrion and uh, Catelyn visit. Obligate vessel. Fine. We're losing a lot of troops. But, oh, we're already at 100%, I guess. Now we occupy which isle? I guess that did it. Um, or should we just occupy the Vale? Gotta wait for that. No, no, no. Let's 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 not push our luck. All right. Uh, let it bend the knee. No, we will forfeit the Vale. Usurp the title, Kingdom of the Vale. Great. Uh. Yeah, put him in the oubliette. I don't care. I want to revoke this this thing as well from him. He's a traitor. Lordship of the Eyrie, yeah. Give me. Uh, what else does he hold? The Castle of Harbottle. Oh, that's in there. And the High Lordship of the Giant's Lands. Can we revoke that? No. Banish him to the wall or execute him? No, just execute him, right? Fuck him. <laughs> I want to see him fly. <laughs> That's probably because I am at the Eyrie. Great, yes. 
<laughs> Screw you, we pushed you through the moon door. <laughs> what a fitting end to this, uh, this little twerp. If you remember him from the show, he, uh, he's kind of a psychopath. He wants to push everybody through the moon door. Throw them out. And actually, yeah, this is, I think, the book moon door. But in the show, it's like a hole in the ground. And I actually kind of prefer that. Yeah, I kind of prefer that. But this, uh, yeah, we push him through the moon door. Beyond which lies nothing but 600 feet of air. The condemned Lord Robert has giant lances brought before the door and thrown from from it to his death. I want to see him fly. Yes. Screw you. Okay. Now, uh, yep, yeah, the war has ended. Let's wait for all the vessels to come back under us. But the veil. We could give it to Harry the Air. Or we could give it to our boy. Uh, where is Harry the Air? Denard Aaron. 15 year old boy. Oh, this is, oh, that's the son of Harry. Harry died, I guess. Or we could give it to our boy, uh, the Hand of the Kings, or Oliver Risley. Yeah, that's fun, right? Oliver Risley. What is your... Um, he's a Reachman. Okay, well, whatever. We'll give you the Lordship of the Eyrie. And the High Lordship. Okay, let's give him the Lordship of the Eyrie first. And then we will give you the Kingdom of the Vale. Yes. Enjoy, Oliver. For good services rendered, we have made you the Lord of the Vale. Fantastic. Crown loyalists, okay. <laughs> we have no no major fa fa factions at the moment. Except for uh, Lord Paramount Robert, who wants to uh, claim my throne. My brother Lord Stannis has not been himself lately. I've noticed how he has lost weight and has been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently the underlying cause is a cancerous growth. Okay, on that bummer. <laughs> I think we'll end the episode. L a lot has happened. We have uh, revoked the Westerlands from our... Uh, our bastard nephew, and we gave it to uh, one of our most uh, leal and able servants, the man who captured Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, we did dealt with the revolt in the Vale, which we have given now. We, we have uh, we have deposed uh, Sweet Robin and put the Risley family in charge, our uh, loyal Hand of the King, who has been our Hand of the King for many years. Uh, we have in the South not so much dealt with, dealt with Dorne, but I think he's cowed into submission uh, for now. So... Uh, Randy's rule is secure once more. Oh yeah, and then in the north, of course, we deposed uh, Benjamin the second Karstark, and we finally returned the north to the Starks for what that's worth, because <laughs> Rickon is really a terrible character in this uh, in this timeline. But you know, what are you gonna do? Winton Karstark is the is his heir. Why not? Uh, why not Arya? I don't understand. Is it uh, Agnetic? No, Agnetic Cognetic. Then I don't understand. Oh yeah, okay. I guess it's uh, yeah, okay. It's uh, Arya's uh, son, who is the uh, the, the heir to uh, to uh, Winterfell. That's fine, unless Rickon gets a new uh, gets a son or uh, or a daughter, then it will go to them. But the uh, the North is back in the hands of the Starks, for what that's worth. Uh, a lot has happened. We defeated there in the nearest Targaryen. Let's see if we can have uh, such an eventful episode next time. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next episode. Bye bye.